you tell us when you're ready, please? You, are you folks ready? Everybody ready? Okay, Chad, do you want to start it? Do you, do you want to start off? Well, Mr. President, Vice President, thank you for, for being here. Really appreciate your visit uh, to FEMA. I think uh, your visit really, uh, as you indicated last week, uh, by signing the national emergency, uh, has really empowered FEMA. Uh, we've gone to a level one here at the NRCC uh, and continue to support uh, the emergency, continue to support uh, all elements, and really working with the interagency uh, and our state and local partners. The governors, uh, who you'll talk to here in a few minutes, uh, know the FEMA process, know how that works uh, in cases of both natural and man-made emergencies, and that's the process that we'll be using going forward, making sure that they are linked up with their emergency operations centers and tied into FEMA. So again, thank you for being here. Uh, we look forward to your remarks. Uh, so thank you. Well, thank you very much. And it's great having FEMA involved. We've had tremendous success working together, and we appreciate all of the people here. And it's an honor to be with all of you. You're doing a fantastic job, by the way. And so now we're, uh, as of yesterday, when we when we gave the order, uh, FEMA is totally involved, in addition to everybody else. And uh, a lot of progress is being made, so I look forward to speaking to the governors. and. From what I understand, we have uh, pretty close to 50 of the governors and some territories on, and we have a lot of — just about everybody showed up, so that's uh, very nice. And we will uh, put them on the screen as soon as you want. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mike, you want to say something? Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. And I, I, want, to, uh, I want to add uh, our thanks. Uh, not only to the great team here at the National Response Coordination Center and, and FEMA, as FEMA takes the lead in implementing the policies that you approve from the White House Coronavirus Task Force, but um, as you, as you uh, uh, do continually, Mr. President, I want to thank all the governors uh, that are joining us today. Today is an, an opportunity uh, to talk about the progress that we are making on, uh, on mitigation, uh, on testing, on supplies. Uh, we understand as, uh, as, as FEMA's, uh, as FEMA's uh, uh, mission that uh, this effort through FEMA will be locally executed, state managed, and federally supported. Uh, and I want all the governors to know that uh, we are with you every step of the way. Uh, we are absolutely determined at the President's direction to make sure that you have the resources uh, and the support uh, as you see, to the health and well-being of your communities. We commend the governors. At this point, Mr. President, uh, as we told the country today, um, the, the three states uh, are 50% uh, of the coronavirus cases in America today. So we're focusing resources at the point of the need. Uh, the governors in those states, their state health officials, are, are responding with great professionalism and great speed. Uh, we'll continue to support those that are directly impacted. But uh, by standing up through your national emergency declaration, Mr. President, standing up FEMA and standing up the National uh, Response Coordination Center, uh, we, we want our governors, we want all of our state and local health officials uh, to know that we are, as you say, bringing the full, full weight of the federal government to bear to support our states and our local communities and that we'll get through this coronavirus and we'll get through this together. I agree with that 100 percent. Thank you very much. And for the media, uh, I guess perhaps you're going to stand aside. We're going to have the screen right behind you. And uh, we'll start uh, opening this up to the governors, if that's okay, please. Yeah, go ahead. One question for